Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I do my skunk stripes. I have a popular tutorial on my YouTube and my TikTok. And I just wanted to record it again just to give you like a full breakdown of how I achieve them. Because as you know, with the short content, it's nice to see like it's fun and exciting to see it get done really quickly. But there's a lot of steps that are missing in the tutorial. So I just thought, let me just record a longer tutorial just to show you guys how exactly exactly how I do it. So this will be a good way for you to get skunk stripes if you don't want to bleach your hair. I've never, actually no, tell a lie. I have bleached my hair once and I ruined my hair. Luckily it was only the ends. So I, I was able to chop that off within six months. So yeah, this is a perfect way to not damage your hair because once you bleach your hair, you know it's going to get damaged eventually, right? Okay, so you don't want to be doing that. So if you're interested to see how I achieve this style, just keep watching. Right, so before I start, let me just mention a few things. I have braces, so I'm going to be talking a bit funny. It gave me a lisp, more of a lisp than I already have. So let's not talk about that, okay? So as you can see, my hair is a mess. I'm overdue for a wash. I'm just going to take my hair down. This is what my hair's looking like. This was a protective style that I took out from last week's wash day. As you can see, it's not looking great. <laughs> it's not looking good, Bev. I used the Imbu products. I can't say that my hair feels moisturised after one week. It's crispy dry, it's really dry. I don't think those products are very moisturising for my hair. Right, so I'm just going to start by spraying my whole head with water. Just so that I'm not manipulating it when it's crispy dry like this. I'm not too wet though and especially around the perimeter of the hair because you want that to get as flat as possible then i'm going to be using the same leave-in conditioner as i used in my wash day routine so this is just the imbue coil rejoicing leave-in conditioner i'm just going to apply that around the perimeter and i'm going to apply some more on my ends as well just for, so that while it's up in the bun, it's not going to get even more dry. I just try to finger the tangle a little bit. So this time round, I'm going to do two skunk stripes on either side. So I like to do mine like here. And you want to part it off like in the direction where the ponytail is going to be going. And I don't like to do mine too wide. I've tried that and it doesn't look good on me. So, <laughs> so that's one. It doesn't have to be neat. The part is I'm not going to show. So you can actually just use your fingers if you want. I'm going to twist that off. And I'm going to do the other side. Make sure it matches the other side. Twist it off. And then I'm just going to put away the rest of the hair. For now so next i'm going to apply the color blast this is what it looks like inside i'm going to take a little bit at first and i'm just going to put it in that section so it doesn't have to be neat but at the same time you want to make sure that it goes only on this section because if you get it into that section it's going to look a bit messy so i'm just going to take my time and make sure that i just get it in that section the reason why i apply it all the way back is because i want it to be opaque yeah that's enough i'm just going to twist that back up and then this side as well i think i've done that side a bit too big it's this side that's too wide so what you can do is just use a baby wipe and dab it out that looks a bit more symmetrical now i'm gonna use a baby wipe and i'm gonna wipe my hands off because i don't want this color to transfer on the rest of my hair or you can just wash your hands because this is long i'm just gonna let my hair up there. And I'm going to use some of this Camille Rose Curl Maker. I love using the Curl Maker for my slick hairstyles. It just gives it that nice wet look. 
for extra hold you can actually use this olive oil grip gel i use it when i do like these kind of hair styles so that it doesn't move all day so i'm just gonna apply a little bit of that as well especially for the back part of my hair because it just likes to fray up so i'm just gonna add that in and then once i've done that i'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of this hair down and then just scoop it all up into one high bun So I'm just going to take my smoothing brush and I'm going to brush the black parts because you don't want to touch the coloured part yet because it's going to transfer. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. It's like so. Wave check. <laughs> and then I'm just going to spray a little bit more water and on the coloured part because it got a bit dry and I just want to make it nice and smooth. So I'm happy with that and now I'm going to just brush the coloured part very carefully just so that the colour can poke through but the hair strand still shows as well. And then I'm gonna add my other hair tie now. Just gonna smooth everything together. Once I'm happy, put the hair tie in. tight this time so i'm just going to take this brush i think it's a teasing brush this i can't find my edges brush and i'm just gonna try and make like hair like brush marks in this section just this comb's gonna have to do right. and then you can touch it up a little bit with more of the wax some places look a bit less colored I think this side is a little bit bigger. That's okay. We are not trying to be a perfectionist today. And then once I'm happy with it, I'm just going to go ahead and take a wipe and clean up. And this is why it's good to watch long tutorials because these are the parts that you don't see on the short videos. This is how I got mine to look so neat. And you don't have to use a wipe. You can use a cotton pad and water. I like this side better than that side. <laughs> because of my head shape, I feel like the closeness between the stripes looks really good. But if you've got more of a rounder head shape, I reckon putting it more to the sides hair. Like India, for instance, she's got more of a strawberry face shape. So she's got her, her stripes a bit more to the side of her, of her head. But I like to do mine right in the corner where I'm balding. Joking. <laughs> And I'm just using a wipe to dab out my baby hair. I mean, you can keep it in there, but I just don't like to have it on my scalp. Perfect. Perfect for me, anyway. And then I'm just going to take the first hairband out. So with the colour, you can easily have it come all the way down so the colour looks like mixed in with the bun. But I didn't want to get too messy, so I just left it out. And with my bun, I'm just going to loosely twist it around. And this is how I get the volume in my bun. You see, just like that. And then I'm just going to put the bun over it. Just like so. Perfect. And then I'm just going to do my edges. And today I'm going to be using this Miel Rosemary Rint Strengthening Edge Gel. I really do like this edge control. It's nice and thick. I'm just going to apply a little bit on my edges. And it gives it a nice little sensation. I want to say tingling, but you can feel like a cooling effect on the edges from the mint. And then the rosemary is supposed to help your edges grow. Love that for us. Twist that around like that. That's what I do for my widow's peak. I just twist it round. So as you can see, that's on my scalp. All that colour there is on my scalp. So I'm just going to try and brush that colour to make it look like hair strokes. Let's see. And then I'm just going to hold the ends down and brush the ends of these edges up like that like that 
Right, so as you can see, the, the back here is coming up. So I'm just going to use some more of that grip gel and just smooth those bad boys down. Look. Smooth like butter. So once that's all done, I'm going to go ahead and take my edge scarf and set my edges for five minutes. Nice and flat. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. I'm going to take it down. So whenever I use these kind of colours in my hair, I make sure to wrap my hair because I don't want it to get on my pillowcases at all. And I make sure not to rest my head on a couch or anything like that because it will transfer on your couch as well. So yeah, keep that in mind. But yes, this is the finished look guys. Very cute indeed. I do prefer it with two rather than just the one because you can see it on both sides. And as you know, I am a fan of these um, color blasts. So these are a good way to put color in your hair without having to dye your hair. Didn't have to bleach my hair to achieve this. And it's temporary as well, so it does wash out when you wash it out. The color lasts, but it does fade. So I say it lasts about a week before it fades to the point where it's like, it needs topping up. And I really like how it comes out with my wash and goes. And I've also done a twist out on it. It looks really, really good with a twist out. Ombre, I did with the red that looked amazing but yes if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you give it a great big thumbs up it really does help my channel out and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see any more content for myself thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye